Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, which is how to resolve if you are coming across a remote desktop connection error message that your remote desktop section will be disconnected and that the remote desktop cannot connect to the remote computer for one of these reasons. Program on this remote computer will continue to run after you've disconnected. You can reconnect to this remote session later by logging on again. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And you know, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing, make sure you're signed into an administrative account when attempting to use the remote desktop connection utility. So the first thing you want to do is open up the search menu, type in remote desktop underneath settings, select the remote desktop settings option, and then make sure remote desktop is turned on here. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. And it might have been as simple as that. If you're still having a problem, which is more likely than not, you would still be having the issue, open up the search menu, type in Reg Edit, Best Match, sugar back a Reg Editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import and then navigate to the file location. And now we're ready to begin. So we're gonna start off by double clicking on the H key current user folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder, so double click on that. Same thing for the Microsoft folder. And now you wanna go down to terminal server client. If you do not see one in here, you're gonna to have to go ahead and create it. So right click on the Microsoft folder up at the top that we just expanded. If you don't see the terminal server client key. So again, right click on Microsoft, select new and then select key. Name this key terminal server client, hit enter. And now on the right side, you wanna right click in a blank area, select new, select the word 32 bit value. Name this value show shutdown dialog exactly how you see it on my screen. Again, show shutdown dialog and hit enter. Note that dialog is spelled D-I-A-L-O-G in our case here. So just don't get confused if you might spell it a different way. So again, show shutdown dialog, double click on it. So if you wanna turn this on, you're gonna change the value data to one. So delete zero, type in number one. If you want to turn on this message, if you want to turn it off, delete the one, type the number zero. That will disable it and select OK. And then once you've made your selection, you're going to go ahead and close out of the registry editor and proceed to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. That should hopefully be about it. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.